Hi, hello, welcome back. Today, I want to go ahead and build another wave challenge. Now, a lot of you might not remember because it was quite a long time ago, but quite a while ago, I made a wave challenge for a video. That was wave challenge seven, and I believe it's still on my account today. I'd be very surprised if it wasn't. Wave challenge seven, here it is. Oh yeah. This level is a classic, and I get a lot of nostalgia from this, I'm not going to lie, because this was during a very, like, interesting period, right? Wait, can I beat it? Oh. But today, I kind of want to make another wave challenge, and I've wanted to make one to a very specific song for quite a while. That being, where is it? Where is it? Here it is, Pagoda. Yeah, the Verdant Landscape song. I really like this song. I think it's really cool. And I kind of want to make a wave challenge to this. Probably like where the drop is. So like, is that 50 seconds in? So I'll start you off as wave, like half speed. So I'll have you like kind of go into a control bit here and then it'll go into like four times speed. Let's start off with this first little control bit here. And then we can go into something a little bit more like solid as you get into there. What I'd like to happen is for you to slide along here and then kind of go up. So I'll put D blocks there. Can't slide under that, right? Oh, you can. <laughs> well, you know what that means. Let's make some invisible speed changes, shall we? All right, to see the boundary lines, I'm going to put this underneath here so that, you know, that shows up up the top so we can delete all of those because we don't need them. And I'd like to do a couple, like, structures in here. Maybe put something in here so it's, like, a bit of control like that. That's kind of difficult. I don't love that. If I do like that, that's still decently difficult, right? And then I can put that in there so it's kind of like a control through there. And I put a couple saw blades in like that. <laughs> Is that too evil? Yep, that's way too evil. I don't like that. That's good. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So I'll leave that for the layout of the first part and I won't start decorating this until the end. So yeah, once I've built all the gameplay, I think then I'll start decorating it. I really want to start off with more of like a click pattern based part. And then maybe I want to do a lot of like switches between mini and big. I didn't do that a huge amount in the like challenge that I made wave challenge seven. And I didn't do that a whole lot at all, but I kind of think it would be cool. Do, 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 do. And then you go into like this type of thing. Yeah, that's, that's quite cool. And then maybe you'll go into like a portal there. Yeah. Okay, now I need to just like build obstacles around this. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. I like that gameplay. Okay, I'm gonna leave that. Then for this, I want to do something a little bit more interesting, but I'm not 100% sure what yet. I could probably do something like this. Oh, oh my, this is, this is all going horribly. Like this, yeah, and then build that up like there. And then maybe, ooh, what if I do something like that? Yeah, so that creates a bit of like a closed off structure. And then I can maybe put in a couple bits like this that kind of hold it up in a way. Yeah, that could be neat. And I could do that and then just kind of have ground spikes around them. Yeah, I think that'll work. And then I need something to kind of fill in this space. So I'll just do another like saw blade there. Maybe shift that down a little bit. Maybe shift that up slightly. This is a little bit tight, but the great, thing about this is I can kind of just shift it up a little bit and not have to worry too much because it's just its own like little structure right but I'll do that like I'll work on the balancing later on it'll be easier to decorate before like I do tiny shifts like that and also you know the decoration does play into the balancing a decent amount how did I go that far down to the portal Oh, because the portals are dumb. This is a hack for this. What's it called? What's it called? Hitbox bug fix. I think I need to exit out and go back in. Yes, absolute. You're a legend. Cool. Okay, that works. Uh, so now this here, I probably want to do a similar sort of thing that I did over there maybe, but maybe I'll combine it. So I'll do like, not that, like that type of a thing. And then I can put a saw blade there. Maybe even just another structure that's like under here, like this. Boom, boom, like that. Yeah, okay. That portal isn't very well lined up at all, but that's fine. I... I'll scale it down. I don't want to like do click sync the whole way, just a little bit. So maybe I can do a portal like there or something. And then I'll do like a structure that kind of lines up there. So it goes all the way up. And then maybe you have to like go down there or something. I don't know. How would that feel? I want to do that type of like Sonic Wave gameplay for one of the du -du 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 -du's, cause I think that would be quite neat, but I don't know where I'll worry about that later. Yeah, that works where it's like do 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 like that. Yeah. And then I want to have a pad. I love blue pads in like wave gameplay. I don't know what it is, but I just love them. I love them so much. So maybe I'll do something like this where you kind of hit that blue pad and continue going up. So you do 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 like that. I don't know. That's quite a difficult target. I'm not going to lie. Maybe I should shift that in a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. And then maybe I can have something like this that goes down like that. Yeah. 
Ooh, I can't believe I actually pulled that off, but it works. Okay, cool. So that's that part just about done. I can structure this off however I please. I might do something like that. I don't know. I could make these completely separate structures and make them kind of go in like that. I think that could be neat. Yeah. And then these kind of feel like mountains almost. And I could probably like, if I join that with that, then I can do that. That with that, do that. Yeah, that made sense. Stop saying that, bro. Oh my God. Yeah. And then I can do like that type of thing. Stop saying saying that, dude. I'm never going to be able to stop saying that. I think that should just be that. How do I keep doing that perfectly? I don't get it, dude. I literally missed the gravity change and I still did it. Oh my. Uh, just to kind of match with this, I'll probably do something like this where that goes down like that. Yeah. Ooh, what if I even do that? That's kind of cool, actually. That's kind of neat. I like that, like the way that's broken up like that. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so we've got the structuring in place for this now. I'm going to place the start pause there four times mini wave. Duh, duh, duh. Like this. <laughs> no, not slaughterhouse style. Don't worry. Duh, duh, duh. And then maybe you hit a portal do and then i kind of mm, i'm tempted to do this type of a thing not that type but you know what i mean yeah, that's cool. That's a cool click pattern. I like that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I think that is quite neat. And I can continue this like kind of structuring method that I had lack, sir. Okay, so as I'm building this gameplay here, you're probably starting to see a theme. And that is that I made this challenge way too hard. <laughs> okay, maybe if you're like top one challenge list grinder who's completed VSC five times in a row, this is gonna look free to you. But look, all right, it was really hard. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I kept building more gameplay and I put a click like this in there. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. And eventually it got to a point where I was trying to play a little bit of this without no clip on and I'm like, I'm not going to be able to verify this dude. And so I quite literally spent like about an hour just going through and trying to make this gameplay just feel natural to play while also being like the perfect difficulty for me, you know? Things like this blue pad, for example, I decided that I wanted to have two blue pads instead of one, just so that that timing is a little bit more forgiving. But that meant I had to shift around the entire part so much to make the click pattern feel like it felt natural. And this wasn't even the end of it. After I decorated, I shifted around heaps as well. But eventually I got it though, and I decided to put in this little gimmick with the blue orbs. I've done this a few times. I think I did in the decode buffs. I really like blue orbs in wave parts. They're a little bit awkward and they feel a bit weird, but it's really satisfying when you get them. And so I put those in there with this dash orb here, built a little bit of gameplay before it to kind of fill in the space before and uh, yeah. Nice. Okay. I very nearly just like did the whole challenge so far, but I missed the dash orb. Now for this one, I kind of want to do almost a tiered design. I think this could be neat. Just kind of structures that go on top of each other, right? I think that could be quite neat. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of want to do that type of gameplay down here because I think it could be neat. And then I'm going to put a portal here that kind of makes you go woo upwards like that. That's, that's the wrong gravity. I do this every time, dude. And then when it does that, it'll be just like do, do, like long sweeping strokes, you know? Yeah, all the way up and then all the way down. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Okay, so now for this top bit, I want to do something kind of continuing this style of structuring. I think that's kind of neat. I think that kind of works, yeah. And then I want to do like a da 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 How am I going to get away with a da da though, dude? Mm. I think that's pretty reasonable. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This can be a big like burr, you know? You know what I'm saying? I have an idea for a kind of structuring idea here. What if I like take a chunk out of that and then put one of these in? Oh! Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's funky. I actually really like that. Yeah. I'd have to like half space that if I wanted to do that, which I kind of do because I think that's kind of neat. This will be dirt with like just one of these in between, I, I suppose. Maybe even take a chunk out and put a saw blade there. I'm obsessed with this, dude. Look how cool it is. It's just sticking out of the slope. Now I've got to come up with a better design for all of this. So maybe I could do that. And then these, I'll join them there and then maybe something like that. Okay. So now I need to fill this spot in with something, which I can do something like like this. Nice. Kind of want to go into like a corridor type part with the wave here once again, because I, I like corridor parts. Don't know if you can tell. And then I'll do like a, just a whir, whir, whir like that or something. Burr, burr. And then I'll go upside down here because I haven't used like a portal in a while. And I'll do one of those clicks where you have to click in the portal like that. And then you have to go into like this or something. Yeah. Okay. This is stupid. I'm going to move this mini portal to like down here because that's like the stupidest mini wave part ever. That works though. That's cool.
Nice. Okay. Yep. I think that feels pretty good. Yes. Okay. So now we just need to do the slow part. Ooh, we're getting there. We're getting there. I would like to have a couple like just controlled clicks like that. Maybe I could do something like this. That might be a little bit too tight actually. <laughs> and then I can have like, maybe not quite like that, but just like a half spike or something down the bottom. Ooh, that's evil, dude. That is way too evil. Maybe like that. But do do, And then it'll do the thing where it like bounces you up with like 50 billion speed. And then I'll have like the final wave click be not that. I'm not making it that. I'm not making the final wave click that. But maybe actually, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll bring back these. I think that could be quite neat. So you have to go through there as like the final challenge, you know? I got rid of the second spike and just made it a single, sing, sing, sing. Oh my God. <laughs> this Australian summer is not treating me well. I'll tell you what, dude. I, going from Sweden to Australia, right in the heat of summer. Oof, it's difficult. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to call it there for the last part. Let's see how this plays. So all of the gameplay is built, which is quite cool. Actually, you know what? Let's do, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do a no clip run of it. I'm not going to do it like in normal, but I'll do a quick no clip run. I will take that. Chances are I might have to nerf a couple things after I've decorated it, but for now I'm gonna leave it and let's, I guess, start decorating. Yeah. I'm gonna start off with this beginning part. It's a little bit spammy, so I'm just gonna delete that. All right, so now the scary part of actually decorating this. I think first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and select a bit of a background color. Let's go for a bit of like more of a, this kind of color, yeah. And then I'll have a background change that kind of is this, and then it'll go to like darker. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Obviously I don't want it to be red, but maybe like a, a nice bright purple. Yeah, that's quite neat, yeah. All right, I think that'll be good for color changes so far. Next thing, I should probably come up with a design for these pillars. So let's just, uh, I'll just use bricks for these. Bricks will work. Everyone likes bricks. Who, name one person who doesn't like bricks. Anyone who hates bricks, I, I, I hate you, all right? Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna fill in the rest of these with these types of things, like so. And then I could probably, like once it goes down far enough, create kind of gaps like this. Or maybe even don't even create gaps, but just over the top of them, put a couple of these guys. All right, so I've gone ahead and put that design in for all of these structures in this first part. Now these saws, I kind of want to use, where are they, these ones? Yeah. The center color is going to have to be something else, but what I might do is just go for one and then just copy the color of the background. Maybe make it a little bit brighter and less saturated. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. I'm going to leave that as is. So now this part over here, I want to replace these slopey bits with some other type of slope. I could use like these guys. Yeah, I think that works. It gives like a very solid feel to it, you know? I like that. I forgot how much I love decorating challenges. It's just so easy to just go around and just play stuff, you know? Okay, so now for these like sticky uppy bits here, I want to do something different for those. What, 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 like that? Maybe. Look, it kind of looks okay. I want to do these ones like so that kind of go around. And then I could even go ahead, ooh, and use the, where are they, where are they? The shadow block from last time, that's too dark. What if I do like these in there? Ooh, I kind of almost like that a little bit more. Yeah, you know what? I know these are like 2.0 and whatever, but they work. And honestly, I kind of like these in combination with these. I, th I thought it would be like a little bit too much, but honestly, I actually really like it. And I'm thinking I'm probably just gonna keep these side bits the same. Although what could be interesting is if I use perhaps these ones. Yeah, I think they look pretty decent. I, I think this design over here will work quite well for like the rest of this. I'm just gonna apply to this part and let's see how it looks. All right, so this design has been applied to these parts over here and honestly, I think it looks quite neat. Yeah, I'm actually really happy with how this has turned out. I'm going to add another one. Uh oh, said I'm going to add another one of those right there. Yep, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> I don't know what's missing, man, but something's missing. Uh, we could probably get away with some like chains maybe, or even, oh, okay, what we could do is use some of these pulsing objects. Yeah, I think they're quite neat, those little things. I always like those little things, whatever they are. <laughs> I'll do some ground spikes that kind of connect up with these. And that means I can incorporate a couple more of like these type deals.
Yeah, that, that part looks decent. How far do I want to go with this design? I guess until here, right? And then I could do one more like little segment of it there maybe. From there, it's going to be a totally different design. All right, so I've gone ahead and continued this design over here. And I actually went ahead and added in a couple of these like blocks that we had a little bit earlier, right? These ones. Mm, what am I going to do for these like slopey bits? Because this would be very boring just to fill with one block entirely, right? I think what I want to do to start off with is I want to use like kind of these fuzzy slopes like this. If I use like maybe these these ones, I can create a bit of an outline like so. Okay, so now I need something for the inside. Now, what the hell am I going to do on the inside? I could do these ones. Yeah, I might do these ones actually. And then I can kind of mix them in with the kind of slightly darker ones. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, yeah. As someone who used to be a big Minecraft builder, I know exactly how to do block variation, dude. Yeah, honestly, I think that's kind of cool. I think that's kind of neat. And then I can like pulse the object color and stuff as well. Yeah. For the rest of these parts, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this part similar decoration to this and then for this part over here i'm probably going to do a similar style to this just to kind of alternate them a little bit and then over here will be something entirely different all right so i've gone ahead and finished all of this decoration here and something interesting that i decided to do as well is i decided to actually add an extra little where is it an extra little slope to each of these because this outline didn't feel dark enough it felt the same like lightness as the inside and i don't know it looked a bit goofy so i just doubled that up there and i did the same thing with this over here this section in here still feels a little bit too empty if you ask me so i might go ahead and just add in a couple like saw blades throughout just to fill it in a little bit you know make it a little bit more interesting nothing too intense just a, just one or two here and there you know maybe a little one. Oh yeah now we need to come up with the design for these things here which I, I have a bit of an idea for and post commentary tried is here to tell you that that idea did not go very well at all I tried to stick with this kind of floaty structuring and make these designs a little bit more interesting, but I just couldn't get it to work in a way that I liked. I tried a bunch of different things, just couldn't get it to work how I was satisfied with it. So I went and just scrapped the structuring for this part entirely and went ahead and redid it. And after redoing the structuring to something I was actually satisfied with, kind of combining these blocky structures here with slopes on top of them, it was time to actually start the decorating process of this. For that, I started with these two big spike structures where this like spike corridor is. It's a pretty big structure to fill in and I decided instead of going with the outline and something in the middle, which is what I normally do, I went ahead and just made it all one block. Didn't think it would work, but it actually ended up working quite well because I used these like portal one looking blocks here. But the catch is, is that I rotated a bunch of them randomly. So it gives this really cool, like nearly crystallized look. I don't know. I really like it. And for the slopes, I just reuse these types of slopes from the previous part because I don't know. I really like how they look. They look really nice and clean and I thought they'd look good in this part and they do. All right, so now all of this is built and I was kind of thinking that down here looks a little bit bare, not gonna lie. So I feel like I need something else. I'm gonna start by trying to add some like, not one, two background blending, some clouds as well. I think that's pretty good for that bottom bit. Yeah, now for over here, I'm really nervous when it comes to these things, dude. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna half space this, but at the same time, I want it to match up. That'll be slightly off and that, I mean, it doesn't, it's not that bad. It's not that big of a deal. It's fine. You know what? I'll do the 1.0, blocks for these pillars here for these slopes need to be something else because for stuff like this it's gonna look really weird to have like either that or that right would these things look kind of goofy they might look goofy but they might look okay as well i'm not sure yeah that doesn't look weird that looks fine all right i'm gonna do that then and that kind of surrounds that that's actually really cool how it's like kind of segmented there and i can also go ahead and just like take out chunks of these and then make them their own little structures that are kind of sticking up through this i think that's cool and i could even like take advantage of what we did earlier with these types of blocks and just kind of shove a couple of these in every now and then. Man, you know what? I'm actually really, really proud of this section. I think this section turned out really, really cool, especially like some of the structures over here. Oh, I feel like I'm definitely getting better at structuring. I'm still not amazing at it, but I'm definitely getting a hell of a lot better at it. All right, so now we've only got a little bit left of the level. I think this last little slow part here, I kind of want to have be an amalgamation of all of the different styles we've had so far. For this last bit, I might just like pay homage back to the first part. Yeah, I think that's probably not a terrible idea. Yeah, I don't think that's a bad idea at all. You never want to underestimate a brick because bricks, they're just, they're pretty good, not gonna lie. And then what did I even chuck on the inside of these bricks? I legitimately do not remember. Was it just more of the, yeah. Ha, ah, but I can do a bit of a pattern with these, like this maybe? Does that like, is that even? 
Oh, it's not even. Like that. That's pretty neat, yeah. And this bottom one, I'm gonna have to just like, maybe I'll just kind of alternate it like that. I think that works, yeah. So yeah, I guess I'll just continue this design until we get to the slow part, yeah. All right, that didn't take very long at all. So now I wanna kind of go through the different parts we've done here. So this, I'll start off with that type of a deal. Wabam, wabam. Thank you, yeah, ma'am. And then chuck these on the inside. Bit of a stroke of genius, if you ask me, but I'll, I'll keep it to myself. <laughs> so we've got that for the first bit. Yeah, something else I also did that I kind of forgot to mention. I'll show you this in a second. With these slopes here, you can see they kind of create this weird like square pattern. Not the biggest fan of that. So what I did is I enabled absolute position on Mega Hack, selected all of the top slopes, and then just kind of flipped them and rotated them back into place. And then I kind of had to do that, but that's fine. And that kind of breaks up that pattern and gives it a little bit more of like a fragmented look which I did quite like. And then of course we got to do this design, which to place these, I was just kind of spamming my E key and then placing these down. And that created a bit of like a nice random pattern there. And then these final pillars here. Ooh, I'm just going to do bricks. Yeah, bricks will work. Let's add one more slope there and one more slope there because why not? Nice transition out. Yeah. I think that is just about this whole thing done. Yeah, boom. Honestly, very happy with how all of this decoration has turned out so far. Now I just need to do, oh, I need to do background color changes and pulses and whatnot. <sighs> I'm going to start off here with an object color pulse that pulses it maybe not to black, but just to gray and give it like a 0.3 fade out maybe. I kind of want to hold it there for a second because I think that looks quite neat. Yep, that's pretty good, I reckon. Something else we need to go ahead and do is, I almost forgot, select all of this, turn glow off, and yeah, I'll don't fade, don't enter. Why not? All right, I've been putting it off. Now I need to just go ahead and do some like, I'll do color changes first and then I'll do pulses, I think. All right, I've just gone ahead and added a bunch of like background pulses where it's like, they kind of like on the first, it kind of goes brighter. So changes hue around the color wheel. So like you can see the color wheel here, it kind of just goes around, goes brighter and then darker, then goes brighter to the next color and then darker and then goes brighter to the next color, darker. You get the idea, right? All right, Uh, yeah. You know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and call this challenge just about complete. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a bit of a go in normal mode from whatever start pause I got set up. I expect this challenge hopefully won't take me too long. I've got 823 playtest attempts. Hopefully it's not gonna take another 800 attempts to actually verify this, but we'll see how we go. Nice, okay, that is 65 to 100. Ah, oh, 36. Ah, oh, 37, okay. Was my previous best literally 36? I cannot believe I survived that one mini wave part, dude. Did you see how close I was? <laughs> 82, oh my god. No! No, are you serious? 95? I'm mad, dude. I'm mad. 95. Damn it, dude. until the next day because this oh i made this challenge way too hard dude okay to be fair it only took 20 minutes today but uh <laughs> that's a lot of attempts not gonna lie yeah this challenge is a lot harder than i thought it was simply because it's a lot longer than most of my wave challenges but um oh well 2191 attempts definitely the best challenge out of my mainline wave challenge series and yeah, I, I'd probably stand by that. Out of like wave challenge, wave challenge two, three, four, whatever, this is definitely the best out of all of them. I'm really, really proud of this challenge. And uh, yeah, probably the hardest out of all of them as well. Yeah, I'd probably argue that, but um, yeah, I don't know. I really, I enjoyed building this and verifying it it was decently enjoyable as well. I'm really proud of how this challenge turned out, honestly. Like, especially with the click sync and stuff. I can't wait to watch this back in editing, dude. Well, I'm going to go ahead and upload that. Here is the ID, as usual, if you want to try it for yourself. And uh, yeah, I'm going to end this one off here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Really, really hope you enjoyed it. Mega thank you to all the members. That's right, you get a mega thank you today. <laughs> especially cool guy. Thank you so much for the tier three. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later.